Hello dear student, this is Dr. Sahar from Delta Best, your best online mentor for the preparation of IMBD ADAT and AFK exam. Today I have taken a quick topic of pediatrics that is full coverage restoration of the primary teeth. In this video we are going to learn that what are the different types of full coverage crowns we have like stainless steel, zirconia, new millennial crowns plus what are their indications, contraindication and how we do the tooth preparation for receiving these crowns. Let us start with this. First of all, as we know the stainless steel crowns, they are the most popular one and they are prefabricated for primary molars or children with high caries risk after doing pulpectomy, multi-surface caries or the complex preparations like MOD and interproximal preparations that are extending beyond the line angle. That means they are large preparations. Early childhood caries is definitely one of the indications for stainless steel crown, high caries incidence after endo treatment. The tooth, if you're using that tooth as an abutment for your space maintainer or in case of bruxism. However, it is still a steel color crown. If the patient has uh, aesthetic concern, nickel allergy, extensive dental caries and there is not enough to structure left. The caries extent does not allow for the adapt adaptation of the crown or if there is excessive mesial drift. In these cases, stainless steel crown is not a good idea. For the clinical procedure for stainless steel crown, First of all, the tooth preparation, how we are selecting the crown, adaptation, any complications that are involved and the cementation. So if you can see here, the tooth preparation and crown adaptation of stainless steel crown in the primary molar is basically based on the flexibility, the elasticity and we know the preformed metal crown are pretty flexible and elastic but still, if you are putting a crown over the tooth structure, you still need to prepare the tooth for it. We are doing the occlusal reduction. We are doing the proximal reduction like breaking the contacts with the adjacent tooth and the buccal and lingual reduction is not required except in the case of mesial of mandibular first molar because there the cervical bulge is very very prominent. They do not require any retention features which would be incorporated in a cavity design if you are putting a full cast crown because these stainless steel crown they obtain the retention from the flexibility and the elasticity of the thin contour and crimping around the crown margins and their cementation. So let's see how we do the tooth preparation for the stainless steel crown. First of all, we are doing the occlusal reduction that is 1.1 to 1.5 mm. You are creating a channel 1.25 mm deep between the cusp. Now for the buccal and lingual reduction, just a slight bevel is required at the occlusal one third portion of the crown. For the proximal surface, using a tapered fissure, thin diamond burr and breaking the proximal contact. Vertically, the proximal wall with slight convergence can be used in occlusion in the lingual or palatal direction. Complications with the crown, of course, use of rubber dam is very, very important because chances of aspiration are there. Gingival and perio disease can start if you don't properly adapt the crown and allergy from the nickel. Now, aesthetic full coverage restoration for the primary teeth in the aesthetic zone, right? When we have tooth with large interproximal lesions, Unesthetic tooth due to discoloration or tooth with small carious lesion with large areas of cervical discoloration, which is in the visible area. We cannot use the stainless steel crown then. So, we can use stainless steel crown, but not the full coverage. We can use stainless steel crown with the facing, like the facing of composite or porcelain, or using resin crown, composite crown, or pre veneered stainless steel crown, or ceramic or zirconia. According to the bonding or luting of a full coronal restorations, the luted one, the cemented one, which you cement them, a stainless steel crown, the one with the facing or the ceramic crown, the other crowns which are bonded is of course your resin based like composite. You can see for the aesthetic zone, we are putting a stainless steel crown but with the facing, right? So that it can be used for aesthetic areas. So the facing can be of composite or even of porcelain. Now the time for placement of course will be longer when we have a facing, although aesthetic is good, they are durable, they wear well and they are retentive. But the placement of composite facing may be compromised when gingival hemorrhage or moisture is present because composite is not going to work good in the presence of moisture or when the patient is not cooperating with you. And of course they will be more expensive than the regular crowns. Now you have composite strip crowns too. So these are composite filled cellulite crown formers. You will have a crown former you are going to fill up with the composite material and it will have a vent hole from which the access composite can squeeze out. So if you have lack of tooth structure and the presence of moisture or hemorrhage, it can still compromise the retention of 
composite strip crowns. So composite strip crowns are superior aesthetic, cost is also not as high. Time for placement is reasonable, simple to fit and trim. But disadvantage, the strip crowns are very technique sensitive. Adequate moisture control might be difficult, especially if the patient is uncooperative. And it cannot be used if the patient has problem with the bruxism or deep bite because composite can wear very easily. Now, there are some other crowns we have. They are called as a new millennium crowns. They are aesthetic. They can be trimmed and reshaped with the high speed finishing bar. But of course, they are very expensive as compared to the strip crowns that we have for aesthetic zone. Uh, they are brittle and moisture control is important for them. The other form we have on the aesthetic zone are the polycarbonate crowns. They are heat molded acrylic shells that are adapted to the teeth with self cure or chemical cure acrylic resin. They are more aesthetic than stainless steel crown. But the problem with the polycarbonate is it will be still brittle, did not resist strong abrasive process and it can lead to fracture and dislodgement. Now, the pre veneered stainless steel crown, they were introduced in 1990s. Pre veneered one, they are aesthetic. Placement and cementation are not significantly affected by saliva and hemorrhage. And you can use these pre veneered stainless steel crown. You can make them and put them just in a single appointment. That is good. Advantage they are aesthetically pleasing, durability of steel crown. But as compared to the regular stainless steel crown, they are three times more expensive. Also, as compared to strip crown and polycarbonate, they are very expensive. So they are relatively inflexible as the resin facing is brittle. And it can always fracture when subjected to heavy forces. So, we can see all the crowns, they have their advantage, they have their disadvantage too. Now, these are the zirconia crowns made up of ceramic. Also, some of the zirconia crowns we have are the easy crown, kinder crown, zirkis crown. You can see in the picture here. 